Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to review the Glory, Halo, Mercury. Uh, this is definitely an interesting build because um, Glory and Halo are the newly introduced um, energy shotgun. They uh, they do um, lock down other players. That's like their uh, special ability they have. You do need to get close though, um, about three in between 300 and 200 meters. Um, that's ideal, but it the weapon is really ideal for a mercury because you lock them down and then you hell dive and as you can see here the stalker can sit on my beacon um, so that I, I can't turn it but um, obviously I was able to lock him down and um, it's it brings a different element different dynamic to the current meta we have it's it doesn't change the meta but it just adds on to the meta which I really like about this weapon um, obviously from the distance um, they don't do much damage so they're not overpowered but obviously you can stop multiple guys um, and it's really ideal for uh, the mercury because uh, you lock them down and then you um, you do damage to them but then you do, you, you are able to do that hell dive on them so uh, I guess that was kind of good run with mercury and then and then I have the shredder with uh, Avenger on uh, this uh, fruit fly um, it's obviously this is common uh, post commentary by the way um, so um, yeah about like I'm really excited about the uh, mercury with the uh, lockdown uh, shotguns because um, they're really really fun to play um, they might not be what you're looking for if you're used to um, lots of firepower but um, they do bring different dynamic of the teamwork, so I really like enjoy playing that. Um, so the shredder is another rooting weapon. Um, it does bypass energy shield. But, uh, I don't know why I uh, picked this robot. Um, I guess I just want to play with it, and then I was able to root this guy. But I uh, usually normally it roots better than this, but uh, it didn't this time. Um, with the shredder, you really have to get in. 200 meter to be effective that's what it says on the description at least um, I'll uh, stop talking about um, I'll stop the commentary here and then um, there's another match um, later and I'll start talking when um, when we are when I'm playing the mercury so uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video you can skip it and then if you really want to see the mercury um, the next round is actually on a bigger map to uh, show you guys.
Hey guys, welcome to part two of the video. This is on a long map. Um, so I, it's another King of the Hill match. So I do feel like I'm gonna do a, a part two on this uh, build, but um, the lockdown weapon seems so important on game modes where uh, the lock uh, beacons are really emphasized. Uh, obviously on this map, uh, everything is really far away that the center beacon counts the most. So I do. There, there, there was a scenario or a situation where it was kind of ideal for the lockdown and then the hell dive. So definitely uh, watch out at the end for that. So uh, if you have certain setups that you wish to see, or uh, you're kind of saving up for and you haven't decided and don't want to really waste any silver on something that you didn't want, uh, definitely drop that in the comment section below. Uh, definitely uh, will be considering some viewers request so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the match there's definitely gonna be part two on this build on other game modes So I've added the third part to it, uh, this is Beacon Rush on Shenzhen. There was a perfect Mercury situation that I kind of had to put in. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.